coming to you live right here on a very cold and rainy day, Richmond, Virginia. How's everybody doing out there, man? It's been a minute, haven't been around in a while. Uh, I, I had a I had a detox myself from from everything, social media, everything, man. But uh, no, the the, uh, the reason for this video was I, I had to I had to say something, you know. I have to say something, and uh, a lot of I've seen and I've heard through the grapevine that a lot of you have. Uh, a lot of you haven't been inquiring about, you know, my, you know, uh, about the uh, about the breaking up of Sons of Texas, and um, I mean, just first and foremost, I just want to say that not a day goes by that I don't think my lucky stars for the very beautiful, beautiful memories that we've had the past several years. Not a day goes by, man. Not a day goes by that I don't thank God for all the people that, that, that supported this thing, man. You know, we met a lot. We had the privilege to meet a lot of extremely generous and just beautiful, beautiful people. Um, you know, people that took us in, you know, on tour. Uh, people that fed us, uh, clothed us, you know, gave us a place to stay on several occasions, you know, several occasions. And not just here in America, I'm talking about all over the world. So, again, you know, I love you guys. Every fiber of my heart, I love you guys for all the support that you gave this band. <clears throat> that being said, um, this whole this whole thing, um, I, I want to say maybe I mean, maybe I should just speak for myself, but I, I I I guess I anticipated this coming from a few years back. Um, I want to say maybe uh, after we lost our label. Sometime in 2017, we had put out two records, toured relentlessly for those two records. But, um, yeah, sometime in 2017, man, once we lost our label, I just feel like uh, th that's when the decline started. Because after, after losing the label, subsequently we lost management. Rather, we, we, uh, we got rid of management, which, uh, in retrospect, Probably wasn't the best idea, but without without someone at the helm of this outfit, you know, we had no direction. Uh, we had no one to dictate. You know, we, we had no plan. We had nothing, nothing. You know what I mean? And I recently saw this this Beatles documentary, this new Beatles documentary. It's called Get Back, and Paul McCartney said it best, dude. You know, he was in the circle, in the jam circle with, with his band. And he, he said, he said, yo, man, you know, once Mr. Epstein died, you know, it's like daddy wasn't here anymore to hold our hands, you know? And that's exactly what it felt like. It just, it, it just felt like we had no direction, no one to, to, to guide us, really. So we tried to self-sustain, self uh, self-manage, self-promote, self-market, but that, you know, never did anything, really. Um, there were several occasions where, not not only me, not, you know, uh, I and, and maybe, you know, a couple of us, you know, we, we, would, we would come to the table and, you know, recommend possibly outsourcing, you know, maybe hiring help for at least the uh, the marketing aspect of you know of being in an independent band, uh, you know we talk about it and 
it would be, you know, the vote would come in to where it's like, you know, nah, we're not going to spend, you know, uh, this is something we all could do. You know, th this, this was the uh, justification for not spending on marketing. This is something we can do on our own. You know, we don't have to be throwing away, you know, a thousand bucks a month or whatever. Um, and look, man, it's not like we had a huge budget anyway. And, but I feel like if we would have gotten at least a small amount of help in that aspect with marketing, I think it would have gone a long way. I think it would have sufficed, you know, because dude, honestly, man, self-promoting, self-marketing, all that shit, man, it takes a lot, dude. It's a, it's a, it's a grind, you know, and all of us, you know, all of us have families to support. All of us have, you know, you know, most of the guys had, had, had day jobs, you know, they, they, they wouldn't be able to find the time, you know, it's just, yeah. So It, it frustrated me a lot, man, you know, that, that we weren't able to, we weren't willing to invest in ourselves. You know, um, I just, I just, there came a point in time where I would, I started to kind of distance myself, man, really, because, you know, you, you want to surround yourself with, with like-minded people. You want to surround yourself with fucking people who are going to make you want to get up and just be the fucking best you can be. You know what I mean? Productive, prolific. I just didn't feel the fire anymore. You know what I mean? I, I didn't feel the fire. I didn't feel the drive anymore that we once had. And it bummed me out, dude. It bummed me out. But look, you know, on top of that, maybe, maybe, maybe all that could have been resolved. You know, I mean, it, it would, it could have been resolved, I think, on any of that. You know, just, it just takes a little bit of communication, which, you know, again, I, you know, I, I completely, you know, blame myself. You know, I, I, I didn't try, you know, after, after, dude, look, man, after, it's like being, it's like, it's like being in a, just in a stale, horrible relationship, you know, where you've tried a couple times and nothing really materializes, nothing gets better. So it's like after a certain point, you know, you just start uh, distancing yourself, you know, and that's what I was doing, man. And, you know, I could have, I, I could have, I could have tried a little harder if I wanted to. So we could have done this. I, I could have, you know, I could have reached out to them. We could have talked, you know, about the direction, about this whole, this whole thing. But <clears throat> there is one factor. There is one factor about this band. Uh, and those of you, those of you who know the band personally, I know a lot of you guys know the band personally. Uh, know what I'm talking about uh, and know that there probably you know maybe there was maybe there was one big factor one culprit to this uh, to this decision of uh, disbanding the band look I'm not here to fucking air dirty laundry because I, I wasn't raised that way But, you know, you got to, you know, people who are in a band or people who want to be in business, really, need, you need, you need to vet everybody that's going to be involved to the fullest extent. Like, everybody. Um, because, dude, it's, 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 it's hard. It's hard when you have someone that is bullheaded, hard-headed, uh, and not in a good way either, okay? <laughs> it's not in a good way. 
because you don't get anywhere. You end up shooting yourself in the ass, really. But, you know, people are pe people are, 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 are this way sometimes, and you cannot change them. You can't do anything about it. There's, you know, something inherently wrong with them that you need, you know, that need, they need fixing, you know. But, you know, again, just... Just be careful who you get involved with in business. Because um, one bad seed, man, it just takes one bad seed to, you know, your whole reputation is out the fucking window. And that's what it was, man. There, there was a, there was a, a there was a, a, a cancer, if you will, a cancer that, you know, spreads and, and destroys everything. You know what I mean? And uh, the, there comes a point in time. There, there's no, there's a, there's a point of no return to where it's like, oh man, this again. This another episode. You know. Oh. Just be careful who you guys get be involved with, man. You know, any aspiring musicians out there in a band. Or anyone that really wants to do anything in business, you know, it's important to know who you're getting involved with, who your partners will be, you know, how they how they react in certain situations. Anyway, I just wanted to say uh, once more, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, you know. And if I can speak for the band, you know, thank you guys, you know, on behalf of Sons of Texas, thank you guys, all, all of you, all over the world, man. Japan, I have a special, special place in my heart for you guys, man. Uh, Europe, UK also, I love you all, man. I love you all, bottom of my heart. I'm gonna keep uh, venturing on, hopefully, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a singer for hire. Anybody who knows, <laughs> I'm a free agent. Once again, crazy. But yeah, man, I'm gonna keep pressing on. I got ship rocked coming up tomorrow. I'm gonna be with Mark Morton, so look out for that, man. There'll be some cool footage on that. And um, yeah, dude, just keep in touch with me here. I'm gonna be a little more active now. I'm um, getting back on this thing. Just want to say I love you guys, man. Thank you so much for the beautiful memories and the endless support. Cheers. Love you.